Hi, Bill Patterson, Larger Illusion. Continuing to our palette with my painting demonstration that we were working on in the last series. Back to recap, I'm using uh, white, ultramarine blue, and burnt sienna, three of my favorite colors to work with. It kind of shows uh, how I kind of put a painting together, and we'll talk about techniques and show some different uh, structures later. <clears throat> I'm using one knife that I've used forever and uh, for many, many years. And it was uh, blocked in a light blue, pastel blue sky, white touch of blue and so what I'll do is come back maybe put a few fluffy clouds I'm going to use pure white and I'm going to come over here and think of maybe light coming from the left now you're once again you'll start hearing my knife bounce and it's just like if you're putting clouds in with a brush or a finger where if you put those little powder puffs up here light coming from the left now you can come in here and even since I'm using the round blade you come here and kind of cap those over a little and you could always come back and maybe put a burnt sienna. In fact, I might do that one just to show a little. But I'm just going to bounce these. And just like in that, if you do these with a mountain, we want to talk about letting colors break. I love that little look. So what I do is actually come over here with, let's say, maybe a touch of white and a slight touch of sienna. And that will constitute a warm. And normally people think you have to add yellow to something to warm it up. It's a very soft peach. I'm going to come right back on top of here. And hopefully that will pick up on there. It's not as bright as yellow would be, but gives you a nice little highlight co color. Okay, just put a couple of these in. I might come in a little, little row. I'm not going to worry too much down here because we'll put some more hills and things in. But that's a nice little, right there, little cap. And with the other episode, clean off the top of here. Okay, what I'll do is start coming and maybe put some distant hills and trees. So I'm going to mix some blue, uh, sienna into our blue, and a touch of white. So we decide how far back, value wise, how far or how close do we want. And that the question we always ask, you know, we think of how far back things are, but sometimes we forget is how close they are to us beside that. Now that's a fairly dark value, but could give us some nice background depth. So I'm just going to work with that one. I'm going to come in here and just block in. These aren't necessarily mountains, just some hills back here. Some trees, woods. And I like that little dip up here. So I'm going to kind of leave some of that one. And as I keep saying, I'm borrowing, moving the paint down. Now, if I want to go up and start creating the shape, trees now I can hear soft. We're talking about different edges. So here you can soften it just like a knife, actually using the end of my blade, very lightly softening. And another little row over here. If I wanted to create these as maybe some pine trees, I actually go back there maybe create some of these. Come up here and draw a few of our trunks. And borrow, and I'm going to borrow paint off the palette, off the canvas, as much as I always do off the palette. Now, if I want a darker edge, let me come back here and put, put some in. These are again very light and airy. And bring a few of these up. Use the tip of it. Now while I'm doing this, I'm going to take some pure white on my knife. I'm going to come down here at the bottom and I'm going to create some atmosphere. Some nice soft gray. As I said, the best thing with the palette knife is, one of the best things is you don't have to have any of the utensils when you go somewhere. And if you're in the field, you wipe it off. You don't have to worry about cleaning your brushes, which is one of the pitfalls of outside painting in summertime. I've ruined many a brush. The same thing by not cleaning them off. So on a hot day in a car, your brushes can wipe out pretty quickly. Okay, what this will do is allow us for... Uh, let me crop that one up through there. Actually, a little bit closer to the 
filed than it wanted. <clears throat> so it gives us some nice depths. So that nice little light shining through here, some nice soft grays. What we'll do, come back and finish and put in the mid-ground. And uh, I want to show maybe how to do some bright foliage as we come up in front. So I'll continue working on that, and we'll go back on the next episode to go a little bit farther.